Hey, what you guys are about to see is a clip taken out of a one-hour session I had with Yod Kun Pan Sitrai Pum, the elbow hunter of 100 stitches. In this segment, he's showing me how hitting the guard is not something that you should shy away from or think of as an accident. It's actually a tactic to open up for other strikes. So in this instance, you're using the front side elbow against the guard in order to open up for the opposite side knee. Um, working with him is a lot of fun. I love training with Yod Kun Pan. You can watch the entire session. The link to that is in the description. And uh, there's tons of videos with him there as well that you can check out while you're there. But I hope you guys enjoy this segment. I'm asking him, it's not a problem to hit the guard. And he's like, it's not a problem at all. If you hit someone's guard, they're going to break their posture. And then whatever you throw after is going to land. Oi. <laughs> That's another thing is that like, Yod Kun Pan is one of the few people I've ever worked with who, when he feels me throw an elbow, he'll say to me, I can tell in the way that you throw that, that you want to throw that. Like you, you like that technique. When you like a technique, it feels good. His elbows feel good. So when you're working on this kind of thing, this like super close range, just throwing, even if the technique's not perfect, you want it to feel good because in that context, you want to be like, I love throwing this. I'm going to throw a million of them. I, su I surprised him with the knee off of the elbow. Yeah. He's like, when you hit the guard, it pops someone open. Like they're going to back up. You hit the elbow like the elbow hits the guard, they're gonna back up. They don't want to be near that. And then you can land the knee because they're a little bit farther away. Mm. He's asking me what my natural dominant side is. I said naturally, my right side is my dominant side. So if this is against a, a right-handed fighter, see how our front sides are near to each other? They're close. So having power in my front side like this is really good. Even though it's not their open side, it's close. It's right there in front of me. Boy. <laughs> I got a little bit low on that knee. Just clipped the belly pad. It's a little dangerous. So he's like, train this a lot, this front side. Use it a lot. So the elbows and knees work together because as I'm just moving, the way my weight goes, they feel natural to me which one goes where. But he doesn't know which one's coming. <laughs> it's so funny that he is so amazed by the feeling of being overwhelmed because that's what he does to people. Like, that's his style. So I guess he's not on the receiving end of it very much. <laughs> He said those elbows are beautiful. He likes it. So I'm saying that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fighting someone who's really tall, but I generally fight people who are taller than me anyway. So I'm like, my difficulty is in getting in. Like all of this is when I'm already in, but getting in is hard. So he's showing me how to get in. See how I'm like teething him and kicking him and he's like kind of dealing with it, but not really. The point is that he doesn't care. Like, I can kick all I want. It's just going to tire me out. And then once he gets inside, he's got those knees and elbows that are what I've been overwhelming him with. Like, don't try to win on the outside. Just try to get in. So what you just saw was just an excerpt taken out of the one hour session with Yod Kun Pan Sitrai Pum elbow hunter of 100 stitches. You can watch that full session and more sessions with Yod Kun Pan where he works with me on things like this. His style is so incredible and the way that he really gets in there and works with me is incredibly informative. You can rent, buy, and subscribe to uh, those intensive series of training and there's over 35 hours there. So definitely check out the description. Go look at that. 
and tons of stuff to learn, so I hope you guys enjoy it.